In our lab, we work primarily on uh, ferroelectrics and uh, superconductors. And uh, now we, I will show you some of the novel approaches we use in uh, tuning the superconducting quantum device. So, what are superconductors? Superconductors are materials which undergo zero resistance under critical temperatures. So, superconductors have a lot of applications currently in uh, medical applications like MRIs, in high speed trains and also nowadays used in uh, sensing uh, communication and also in uh, computation devices. So, superconductors have a lot of applications, but then what is the difficulty in uh, integrating the superconducting uh, materials in current uh, electronic devices which are, which are used? One thing is the tunability because uh, typically the electronic devices are tuned by applying voltage or applying current, but since the superconductors are uh, nearing the zero resistance, we cannot uh, use typical uh, tuning conditions. So, in our lab, we try to overcome this uh, issue in tunability by several ways and we will see. So, we come from uh, materials engineering department and uh, solid state and we want to see whether we can tune the device physics by using materials. Okay. So, the su let us take uh, one of one superconductor with a coherent wave function and because of the proximity effect that is by putting two superconducting materials or two materials together we can tune one, one wave function of uh, one material by tuning the wave function of the other material. So, now let us uh, have a crystalline maybe I can uh, use this. So, we want to now tune uh, one superconducting material. So, what we do we put another superconducting material near and by changing the wave functions nearby because of the proximity effect we tune the quantum devices. So, one application is SNSPD which is a superconducting nanowire single photon detectors and for, for that we want uh, minimum reset time and uh, fast jitter and also along with the good efficiency and how we achieve this by taking the superconducting two superconducting materials and by using the proximity effect. So, this is one way of uh, tuning the material and another one is uh, going by Josephson junction. So, what are Josephson junctions? So, we have a superconducting material and let us break the superconducting into two. So, how do we do that? One way is by, so we have a superconducting material and one way is if we introduce a oxide layer that is any insulating material between two superconductors, we achieve a weak link that is by that is the Josephson junction or we can thin the material between two superconductors and because of that also we can achieve the Josephson junction and next is by uh, introducing the gap between that. So, this is one of the Josephson junction we fabricated in our lab like we have one superconducting material and we have another superconducting and by thinning the material between these two we achieve the Josephson junction and because of this we have the tunneling behavior between two superconducting materials. So, what do we achieve because of that? We cannot measure the current by just having one superconducting, uh, by one superconducting uh, Josephson junction. So, we can achieve something like uh, achieving an interference, like how we achieve the light interference by taking two slits. So, similarly, instead of taking one superconducting jun uh, Josephson junction, we put two Josephson junctions in parallel and we achieve the interference. So, here we achieve the interference of light and instead of that we apply current and we try to achieve the interference of current. And this kind of device is called uh, squid and please this is not an animal, this is uh, superconducting quantum interference devices. And by doing that what we get? We can now have a two Josephson junctions in parallel and fabricate a squid device and because of that by applying the magnetic field we can uh, measure the current and see by uh, by seeing this wave function like we see now like a sine wave function and we can see that uh, the material goes from the superconducting state to the normal state which means that the squid is now working. So, this is one way of uh, tuning the superconducting devices and can we also do by electrical means because if we want to integrate a superconducting material with already existing electronic devices, we need to also uh, try other means like by applying current or by applying voltage. So, how do we do that? 
we now take a Josephson junction and instead of taking a squid configuration, we take another configuration that is by putting another material and applying current externally. So, we have a single Josephson junction and we put another uh, material and we apply the current externally and because of it can we tune it. So, how do we do this? This is one of the devices we fabricated in the lab. So, we have a we have a uh, squid and we also introduce uh, external current by putting another material in the interface and if we do that we can apply the current externally and then change the phase here. So, then this is another way of uh, tuning the superconducting materials. The next one is by mechanical. So, we have now uh, changed the material and then we can now introduce the new material and then apply current and then tune it. Next one is by mechanical means and how do we do that? So, we fabricate the squid on different, sub we also successfully fabricated on different uh, substrates like on silicon chips, on glass, on ferroelectric materials, on flexible materials. So, what happens when we flux it? So, we fabricate the <coughs> squid on a flexible substrate like a kepton, like a cello tape we see. Similarly, we have a kepton. So, now it becomes flexible. And first, we want to know whether the device is working. Yes, the device is working because in the flat state on the top, you see that we, you see the sine wave function. And after that, what we do? We bend the material so that we change the radius of curvature. That is by mechanical means, we want to see whether we can change the uh, flux. So, we see here by changing the different uh, curvature that is uh, from R1 to R2 to R3 by changing the different radius of curvature, we can see the change in the periodicity. So, now we can also uh, tune the quantum devices by mechanical means. So, this is one of the uh, flexible uh, uh, device we have achieved and uh, we also want to see uh, in our lab, we also primarily work on uh, ferroelectrics and uh, ferroelectric materials are best insulators and superconductors are best conductors. We want to put this uh, best insulator with the best conductor and then see what happens. So, you have one more yeah, sure, uh, just one more slide, I think. Yeah. So, here we see the resistance goes to uh, zero. So, these are best conductors and in case of ferroelectrics, you can change the polarization in the material by applying the electric field. So, now we have fabricated a device with uh, ferroelectric and over that we have the superconductor and now we see that uh, upon changing the electric field, we can change the critical temperature at which we achieve the superconductivity. So, also by applying the voltage, now we can uh, tune the quantum devices. So, we see we can tune the superconducting devices by material means, by also applying current, by changing the mechanical uh, means and also by applying the voltage. So, please join our group and if you have any queries, please do not ask me, ask my professor at uh, ivri at technion.ac.il uh, and, uh, and my colleague Mohammad Sulaiman will be presenting a detailed poster about this work and please feel free to join us. Thank you.